Welcome to Processing and Arduino in Tandem, uh, Creating Your Own Digital Art Tools. Uh, this course is going to cover uh, the processing uh, development environment, which is a coding environment for specifically designed for visual artists and visual thinkers, uh, and the Arduino, which is also a creative uh, hardware prototyping platform. Uh, the two projects kind of share, they share a similar philosophy as well as similar looking software, um, basically to make it, per create ease of use and accessibility for people who don't want to have to get an engineering degree or electronics engineering degree or a computer science degree to uh, fulfill some visions that might involve uh, digital electronics. So uh, module one, introduction to processing in Arduino is this course that we're doing, or this class that we're doing right now, the first week of the course. Uh, learning the processing in Arduino native environments. Uh, now you'll see them here side by side on the screen. The gray one is processing and the blue one is Arduino. They look the same. They uh, have very similar coding syntax uh, and you'll notice an array of buttons at the top, a play, stop, a file icon, uh, just to kind of create, uh, so if you learn one, it makes it easier to learn the other. Uh, as far as a course overview goes, um, uh, module one, uh, which is also week one, uh, is the introduction. Uh, module two is we're going to create a drawing tool. In module three, we'll convert that drawing tool into an animation tool. Uh, in week four, mo or module four, uh, we're going to actually build a controller box that we can use to control that animation tool. And then in the fifth session, we'll uh, expand that animation tool, giving it 3D capabilities and exploring some uh, equations and stuff to make the animations a bit more interesting. In module two, or week two, um, a fully functional application is going to be coded from scratch. This is uh, a simple drawing tool. It has an area there. Uh, for actually drawing in kind of a canvas area and then like a general or a graphical user interface area on the other side uh, that allows you to change your uh, brush tips uh, size and its color, the saturation brightness and its transparency or opacity depending on how you want to look at it um, using these sliders. Uh, those sliders will be built using a third party library called uh, Control P5. Uh, which we'll learn about more in the next session. And this uh, application will also be able to save the files that you draw, and uh, you'll be able to clear them so you can start over and draw another one. In week three, the drawing software will be transformed into an animation tool. Uh, gestures will be captured uh, and played back over time, um, kind of basically a mouse following kind of script or uh, loop. Um, and then we'll learn how to modulate those uh, gestures to create um, interesting animations kind of right off the bat. And uh, this session will finish up with um, it making this uh, application capable of uh, saving video files. And those video files will be uh, just regular QuickTime uh, files that you could open up in Final Cut or um, any other video editing or viewing program. In module four, we'll get into building the project box. Uh, you can either build it from the kit being offered on O'Reilly's website, or if you're more familiar with these technologies already, you may want to just build it yourself. Um, it'll mostly involve an Arduino, a breadboard, some uh, potentiometers, which are just knobs, and some switches, and a uh, few LEDs to uh, show feedback. Uh, and this will be hooked up to the computer and used to control the animation software. In the fifth module, or fifth week, we'll extend the animation tool, uh, giving it 3D capability and playing around with some lighting and that sort of thing, and then also getting into experimenting with some, some of the animation equations. So, 
overall, what we're going to be doing in this course is uh, creating a drawing tool, an animation tool, a controller box for that animation tool, and then uh, expanding that animation tool into 3D.